I'm a loyal fan. You stick with your team no matter what, even though that was pretty rough. And then make it worse is Kale Happel's a Browns fan. Hey, he's actually a, he's actually a true Browns fan. That's the first one I found. So I mean, I'll give him. I'll give them, uh, they, they got to win, but I guess good thing our team competed well. Otherwise, it would have been a real rough ride home. So, <laughs> uh, you know, obviously it was good to get back out competing again. And um, I think probably the thing that I was most happy with is that I think guys, for the most part, let it fly. Uh, and what I mean by that is, you know, we asked them to take risks and give ourselves opportunities because as coaches, that's the only way we can really help them. Um, if, they, if, they, if they don't do a whole lot and they stand around and, uh, you know, we don't really know what we can we can help them work on. Um, so I thought guys took risks, gave themselves opportunities. You know, I think we showed that we have some some pretty dang good depth at some weights. Um, and got to get some things figured out. Uh, but that's those are good problems to have. Um, I think we had we had 21 guys at least get one match or two matches in, um, and you know certainly a lot to build off of. You know, I was thinking a lot about this team and um, you know obviously what they've been through and. Man, we talked. We talked about day one. I still remember the first Zoom call when we got together as a team. The first thing we talked about was that uh, we'll come back out of this stronger. We'll be better. We will be better as a group. We'll be better individually, and and uh, hopefully a little bit of that showed uh, yesterday, just in how guys were ready to compete. And man, I thought I thought our shape was great. I thought our pace was great. Um, you know, there's obviously going to be always things to work on, but um, from a starting point for for me as a coach and for us as a team, I think it's a great place to jump off from. Um, like I said, you go kind of in depth a little bit with some of our guys, and man, we have some guys that uh, have some 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 serious stories, uh, you know, some character to them uh, because of what they've been through and putting on that singlet, you know, for for you know for a couple guys. I mean, Cade was in a Cade was in a hospital bed for a long time last year. You know, is he ever going to wrestle again? You know, is he going to get out of some of those things? And you know, getting that guy back out there, a guy like Keegan Moore, he's been he's been waiting a long time to put that you and I singlet on. Um, you know, and and. You know, you have a lot of things that I think went into to yesterday and a lot of, uh, you know, for them, excitement. And, you know, for me, just as a coach and coaches, we, you know, we get to see where guys are at, what we have. Because, uh, you know, you're kind of looking, you're like, hey, you know, I see some good things, but, you know, you need to see how they compete. Um, heck, I think we had five pins in those 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 matches. You know, getting bonus points is always is always a really a really good thing and then putting guys away. But I just think from, from uh, the guys open, they wrestled free. And, man, if we can continue to do that, even if we get beat, we make mistakes, so what? But let's not pucker up and, and you know, the, the, the lights aren't too bright. Um, There's certainly not. And, uh, I mean, I can kind of go up and down the lineup more, but I said really good place to jump off from, I guess, if you guys got any questions. Um, well, the last thing I'll say is, is uh, I had a mask on, and, and my mask was up, but I was smiling the whole time. Uh, I mean, it's uh, a long time, long time coming for us to compete again. And, and, you know, I think about all the guys that have missed opportunities and lost opportunities last year. And, you know, for whenever we get one, man, I'm just going to tell you, and I'm going to keep saying it, and you guys will probably get sick of hearing it, but I'm going to be grateful for every single opportunity that we get. And every time I get to, to lead the, my team into – in a competition, man, I'm not going to take it for granted. I'm going to enjoy every bit of it. And, and uh, all I ask is they put everything out, you know, for me, myself, the people that have come before them. And, man, they did that yesterday. So, um, you know, looking forward, to, looking forward to Sunday and wrestling two really quality teams. Hey, Coach, uh, Keegan talked last week on Media Day about how much he had to grow, not so much as a wrestler, but uh, outside of the mat. Well, can yeah. you explain a little bit, Michael, more in depth with his journey and what's needed for to happen for him to, to put on the UNI singlet? Uh, you know, guys all grow up at different times. And, you know, I mean, some guys some guys get it right away, and some guys it takes a little bit longer. Sometimes things have to be taken from you to, you know, and there has to be a certain amount of pain. Sometimes it has to be involved before uh, some of those adjustments or changes are made. Um, I could tell you this. For me as a coach, man, I believe in our guys 100%, and they're going to mess up. I mean, these guys are 18 to 22-year-olds. You know, if we if we think that they're not going to make mistakes, and and if we can't continue to believe in them and believe that they can't get through the other side and work through some of those things, then I'm not doing my job as far as I'm concerned. It's very easy, you know. You get a guy that does everything well, and you pat him on the butt, and you know, but you know, you get those guys that get off off get off the path. You you help you help get them back 
you help try to lead them back, they have to do it. And you know what? I'll tell you this. This last spring, um, he really made he made the choice. He made the choice that hey, I'm, how I'm going to talk to myself, how I'm what I'm going to feed myself with. And that means that means physically, that means mentally, that means spiritually. What he's putting in himself. That means the people that he's being around, the choices that he's making. Um, he, he he changed his life, and he's got to continue to do that. So the the thing is is. You know, you never really have it. And that's kind of been one of my things to my team is you never really you never really have it down. You have to continue to renew. You have to continue to do the things that got you there and then double up on it. Uh, but, you know, he, yeah, he's grown so much as a, as a person, as a man. And, and man, lifestyle things have changed. And those got to continue to happen. I mean, you can't fall, you can't, hey, like I said, you got it. Man, you know, I think he came, he came to the right place. You know he's he's worked through it, but man, he's had he's had some people here. He has some coaches, and that really truly believe in him as a person, not just as a wrestler. Uh, but sometimes you have to get over some things, and you got to get some baggage off, and then you know you're able to really compete like uh, like you're capable of. I mean, because he's got a, he's got a ton of ability, um, and he's got he's got to continue to work to, through those things. But it's been a long journey. You know, he he told me it's been. You know, he's been waiting three years to put that singlet on, and man, he was so happy just to get that opportunity, and I was happy for him to get that opportunity, and now you continue to grow from there. But I mean, I can I'm not kind of go into details as far as you know. I mean, obviously outside outside of the outside of the room, man, you have to live well too because it all bleeds in, and he's and he's re, he's he's realized that, and sometimes it except for some guys, it it comes a lot quicker than others. But man, it's here right now, and he's just got to continue to do it. But really proud of uh, of the growth that I've seen out of him. Coach. Yeah. Hey, Coach. Um, Russell, two different guys at 33 and heavy. Um, I, what was kind of the decision to, to do that, just to kind of get, just to kind of see what you have in both guys, or, or what, was, what was the thought process? Um, well, one of the weights, uh, you know, we, we, have, we, have certain, we have certain rules, we have certain things that are in place that have to be uh, followed or abided by, so sometimes you miss opportunities to compete. Um, you know, so that's that's one of the weights. Uh, you know, one of them too. It's we have two good guys there. <laughs> you know, obviously they showed. But I mean, thirty three. They both beat. I think both those guys are ranked in the top twenty. You know, I think heck Price might have been in the top ten. You know, he had a really good first weekend. So um, it's something where they only there. You know, Scuds was only going to be able to get one extra match, and. I wanted to get guys both two matches. We ended up only being able to get them one match because you know sometimes how those extra matches work is you know a guy go through guys go through a couple matches and you're like well this guy kind of got dinged up here and you know we did it too with a couple guys um, you know this guy got dinged up so he's not going to wrestle that match um, but I wanted to get both those guys matches and we both like I said we have some we have some some very quality depth um, now. For me, what, what's got to happen and what we've talked to our guys about is they have to continue to raise each other's level. You know, you can look at it as competition. Yeah, it, it is competition, but those guys are also your tools to improve. And, man, if I, if I take him out of the equation of someone to help me, then I'm missing a very great opportunity for me as a workout partner or, or for me to get better because um, obviously they're going to know each other's wrestling very well. And, you know, you either get so, so good at something that it doesn't matter or you continue to add to your wrestling. Um, so I think both those guys uh, have great opportunities to improve and get better. And, you know, you look at our schedule coming up, uh, you know, for a lot of our guys, they're going to have opportunities to wrestle ranked guys and wrestle guys that, um, you know, that are going to help put those guys in the ranking because with a shortened season, I think it's very important that guys are able to get in the rankings and get in the rankings quickly. <laughs> you know, the process is going to be a little bit different this year. So, uh, you know, we, we need to take advantage of every opportunity that we get and, and you know, want to see those guys both out there twice. Unfortunately, like I said, Scuds was only able to get the one match, um, but Bisco wrestled two. And, uh, you know, we'll, we're going to continue to try to get as many possible matches for these guys as we can. I can tell you when we have home duels, uh, you know, we're going to have two mats going and whoever wants to bring guys, bring them. Bring as bring as many as you want. That my administration might not appreciate that, but I mean we'll take other we'll take other schools too. I don't care. You know you get your testing done, then let's let's wrestle. Uh, let's get these guys as many opportunities as we can to to compete and and uh, you know because some guys might only get a handful this this whole year. So uh, I know I'm going to continue to bring guys. And like I said, we'll have an open mat. We'll have an extra mat every 
every duel that we have uh, just to be able to run extra you know extra matches but they count they're still matches they're still opportunities um, for sure um, a lot of impressive performances over the first two duels um, you know I think five guys went undefeated or at least five guys won both matches um, you know Lance didn't allow a point Pat looked really aggressive yep. um, Brody looked like he got better from one match to the next was, was there one that stood out over the others in your mind well, you know, I thought I thought a lot of good performances. Um, I think guys kept their composure well. You know, took 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 risk. Uh, you know, we gave up points, but I think in some of those situations, it was like, okay, I gave up some points, so what? I'm gonna I'm gonna wrestle to the next thing, and that's that's really one thing we've been working on is you don't dwell on I, I got scored on or I got beat in this position. Okay, I get beat in this position now. I got a little more information for for the next time I get in there, or I got to make an adjustment, but. Um, you know, for the first time out, I thought our shape looked very good. Um, you know, I think if there was if there was a struggle, it's you know maybe some nerves and nutritional that we have to have continue to prove in and dial in on. Um, uh, I mean, running if you don't give up any points, it's going to be real hard to beat you. You know, that's a that's a good thing. <laughs> you don't give up any points, uh, but you know, even on on those extra matches, you know, I, I Gohoffer went three and zero. You know, he beat Vega. Uh, you know, South Dakota State starter and, and looked really and re looked really good doing it. He got better, you know, throughout the day. That guy tore his ACL last year, and this is his first first competitions back out. You know, so uh, you know, I was I was really happy with that, and I was happy with you know those guys. And you know, I think Apple won won a couple matches, and you know, a lot of guys on that on that other mat wrestled really well and wrestled hard. Um, so you know, you, you, we had 21 guys, and every 21 of the guys need to be doing that. And I thought guys did that. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not going to give anyone that stuck out more than others. I know our team thought that le the the headlock that Tristan hit was was we we give an award after meets and we give a sauce award and they thought that was pretty saucy and it was. I mean that was a that was a dirty dirty headlock and then his brother threw a left handed headlock the next match and unfortunately didn't pin the guy. But um, you know to me that's just being creative. That's your wrestling. You know it's not like we're sitting in practice. Those are things. That's something he's done from a long time and that's what we're. We're trying not to take away from guys. You know what, man? If you if you feel something, it's there. Take it and do it. And you know what? Let your let your wrestling be an expression of who you are. And some guys are going to be more aggressive. Some guys are going to be more tagging. Some guys are going to be more calculated. But man, we let that be an expression of who they are. And man, I think guys showed that the other day. So yeah, I mean, you know, you mentioned a few of those guys. I thought Pat was a uh, I would say was a little more uh, choosy in some of his attacks, which is which is good. You know, attacking when, when, when things are in line and where it needs to go. And, and when we went to something, he went through it. And, and uh, it was, it was some, some very good performances. Last one for me. Yeah. Um, we couldn't exactly see you on the stream, but did you end up breakdancing in the corner? I don't know if you'd call it breakdancing. <laughs> I, got, I, got to get some, I got to get some lessons. I mean, I, I, I get on the mat and, like, I'm down on the mat and maybe doing a worm-type motion when I'm looking for a pin and that stuff. But... Um, there was no, there was no break dance. I said I'm saving that till Mar March 20th, Saturday night. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm sharpen up my skills and then I'll break them out. I'll break them out Saturday night at national tournament. I'll hold you to that. <laughs> and also, I'll, I'll tell you this, man. Uh, appreciate, you know. <laughs> staff our guys you know it's been like I said it's been a long time coming um, you know there's been a lot of people that have put a lot of time and a lot of effort in, in our administration to make sure we're getting this opportunity too you know and I don't, I don't haven't lost sight of that uh, appreciate everyone that, that that's going above and beyond to make sure that we're having our season and that, that you know we get these guys get this opportunity uh, because it was great it felt great to be back out there <laughs> It, it did, and, and our guys felt it too, man. And you could just kind of see a weight lifted off them, like, yeah, this is this is normal again. This is this is what we've been talking about. This is all the work that we put in. Hey, this is all the spring and summer, and when coach wasn't around, what I was willing to do on my own. And this was hey that training phase that we had for three weeks uh, through November and December, man. This is this is this is why we did it, so we can go out and we can compete like that. We can compete free and open, and we can let it go. And if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. We're, but no matter what, man, we're going to continue to go back to work and we're going to come back stronger next time. So I look forward to Sunday. Um, I don't know. 
I don't know about what they're at, having for capacity. You might know a little bit. You might, Cody. You might know a little bit more about that as far as you know what Ames is allowing for for fans. Um, hopefully, fans get to come. Uh, you know, we 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 love as many fans as we can possibly get there, and I'm sure they would too. Um, and I know our, I know our guys would always appreciate people being up in the crowd, man. So uh, other than that, I don't think about Sky anything, but they've been allowing a few thousand, and there was. There was a few Laura shirts there yesterday, so I'm sure tickets good. are available. That's good. Well, I'll, we'll make sure we get that out out to our fans and get some get some people over there, and uh, we'll be ready to scrap on Sunday.